So my activism has really been taken off recently. For those who don't know, I've tried to use my platform to raise awareness for asexuality. And since I started doing that, I have spoken at University of Cambridge, King's College London, University of Westminster twice, Student Pride, Reading Pride. I've been on Pink News, Sky News, BBC Free, even though that one sucked. Spoken about in magazines, on a bunch of platforms, radio stations, podcasts, and I've really managed to reach an audience outside of my usual following. And the reception has been overwhelmingly positive. But the consequence of reaching a bunch of people outside of your circle also means that you're also going to encounter some negative people. And I'm often asked about how I deal with that. And I thought, why tell you when I can show you? in a typical YouTube fashion with one of those Yasmin Reads hate comments videos because I do have a pretty unique selection of those. Um, most of these comments come from the Sky News documentary I did with Stephen Tom Winter Gray and Emily, who you guys probably know, she's another asexual YouTuber and activist, and there were over a thousand very angry comments on there. And I feel like it's important to share these things just because, not because I'm particularly devastated by them, but because there are people who seem to think that anti-sexual attitudes and aphobia or acephobia, whatever you want to call it, that doesn't exist. And I have the receipts to say that it does exist. And these are the kind of things that asexual people have to deal with, these kind of remarks. Um, even outside of this documentary, I've had people contact me just to call me a sexless freak. Um, I see asexual people all the time being told, you don't count as this, you don't count as that, you're this, you're that, and people need to call that stuff out more often. So I thought, why not do that when I've been given so much ammunition? I'm not tech savvy enough to insert the comments in this video, but if you want to know that I'm not just making all of this up, I will link the documentary so you can see for yourself all the comments that people have said. There's over a thousand of them. I don't recommend that you read all of them because it will probably just kill your vibe, but I don't need to make this stuff up. Other people have done such a good job of being so bizarre without my assistance. So, without further ado, here we go. Asexual equals made up word for celibacy. You really can't try and school people on definitions if you can't read a dictionary, dude. That's not how it works. Sure to God, they just ain't had a good shag yet. This is what veganism turns you into. <laughs> you know what's worrying about this comment? There are 342 thumbs up. 342 people thought this was like that, that. That comment made sense. I mean, Wow. Get yourself down Tesco fruit and veg aisle. I'm sure you'll find something there that'll change your outlook on life with a banana, carrot, sweet corn, cucumber, and pineapple emoji. Pineapple? Keep taking the tablets. So now people are just making up crap to feel special. Poofed. It's really hard to make the PFFT noise in person even though you know what it means when you read it. Anyway, I don't need to make anything up to feel special. I was born in the 90s. I'm a millennial. Doesn't that make me special by default? Sure, the actual name for this is virgins. Right, because there aren't straight virgins or gay virgins or bisexual virgins. Just asexual virgins. Makes sense. Good one. <laughs> Planet Earth, stop please. I would like to get off now. Bye, bitch. This is what happens when your uncle babysits. And this comment got 95 thumbs up. It's insinuating that you're asexual because you got molested by your uncle as a kid. And it got 95 thumbs up. Okay. Nothing new. You're just a bit boring and weird. No need to have a special name or status. I am not boring, but I am kind of weird. I'll give you that. I wonder if they're vegan too. Again, look the vegan thing. Really weird association to make. I can't keep up with what's in fashion these days. Us poor, boring, straight, boring's right, in a relationship people haven't got a leg to stand on these days. Do people not know how hard it is to stay in a relationship these days? We need to protest and be recognized. You can protest all you want, but no one give a damn, let's be honest. Why is she dressed that way then? Because it's hot in here and so am I, am I right? I just can't believe people like this exist. 
get me off this planet. You can join the last person who said that really original line, honestly. Don't do it, you can explode. This lot need to pop their cherries. Why do people like this actually exist? Seriously. It's also known as being too good for anybody. I'm not, I'm not against that. I'm not mad at that. Not mad at it. You folk today, look at me, I'm special and unique. Just people who don't want sex but want to be in a special group with a special name, get over yourself. Attention, attention, please give me attention. No, but seriously, follow me on Instagram at the Yasmin Benoit, thanks. No wonder Western civilization is doomed. You know what's really weird about this comment? There's, there, we have gun crime, we have drug addiction epidemics, we have acid attacks, knife crime, mass shootings, terrorism, extremism, discrimination, corruption, abuses of power, inequality, a lack of social mobility, but Western civilization is doomed because of asexual people. So why does she flaunt herself again? My mama blessed me with this. What do you want me to do? I can't keep up with the world anymore. Again, you could just hop off the planet. It seems like everybody else is really into doing that right now. It's an attention disorder. <laughs> we do really in need of another world war. I don't need to know, nor do I particularly care. Do they need their own toy? Hold on. I don't need to know, nor do I particularly care. Do they need their own toilet or day like rest of them or am I seriously offended and will melt? No, it's like so fake, 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 so fake. We have veganism, now this load of tribe. I blame Brexit. Okay, you can blame Brexit for a lot of things, but you cannot blame it for veganism and asexuality. Like, that's not the one. Do these people have a morning wood or a fanny flutter? <laughs> morning wood or a fanny flutter? Seems too far-fetched for me. <laughs> I'm going to add this letter into the ongoing list. Soon we'll have the whole alphabet. The A has actually been there for a while. It's LGBTQIA. So we actually fit in perfectly fine. This, this, this isn't actually news. I can't keep up with all this shite. They would make great priests and nuns. To be honest, that might not necessarily be untrue. Another pathetic fashion trend in the ever need to be different than anyone else. Ooh, look at me. Looks like they all need a good hard shag. That might put things in perspective for them. The end of the world is in sight. The world is heading towards a vast mental disaster. <laughs> FFS, stop the world. I want to get off. Dude, all of you guys need to just get on a spaceship and get out of here before the asexuals come and get you. Get out before it's too late. No better than a tree then. Bet she's vegan. <laughs> Take a dick and have a change of mind. All capital letters. Who do they think they are fooling? Beam me up, Scotty. That's only vaguely more original than the get me off this planet comments, but it's still the same thing, so you don't win any points for that one. Ha! Virgins. Try rubbing it. <laughs> Shoot me now. Gladly. Stick to twanking. What the hell is twanking? Is that like wanking? I'm British even I don't know what the hell that means. Sex drive is also dependent on multiple chemical factors lacking in certain hormones or vitamins can use your sex can cause your sex drive to die as can multiple health conditions. The human body, while a gift, is not a perfect one. It doesn't always work the way it should, and that's okay. My body works perfectly fine, by the way. The internet has ruined society. Life was much better being unaware of all these weirdos. Narcissism. Sex phobia. I'm a vegan and I don't like them at all. What next? What has happened to the world? Why is this generation such fools? These people will not be breeding. That is not necessarily true. Asexual does not mean infertile, but okay. Once they, once they meet cocky and get a good bashing, they will change their minds. Anyone else seeing this work thing developing even more into a religion? They have their version of Lent now with this vegan monk thing. This is abstinence for the Lord, whether it be priest or none, or the young who save themselves for marriage, and of course we already have the moral condemnations and superiority from far left groups that we used to get much more from religious groups. Now they tell us what we should eat, say, think, who and who we shouldn't worship. I'm telling you, they have shifted, and in some cases unshackled ourselves from one religion only to handcuff ourselves to this new 
to this very new type of far left identity politics religion. What is worse is that the media congratulates itself for it. So they think that asexuality is a far left identity politics religion? Okay. Idiots, idiots, idiots. Adolf and Stalin, we need you back once again to clean this planet. Damn, that's extreme. They don't get moist slash hard. Next, well, that's not technically true. Another day, another weirdo. Just another stupid phase. Weirdos. Weirdos. <laughs> Nutter. She just sleeps around. She's a slag then. What is it about I don't have sex that equals she has sex with lots of people? Some people are just a special kind of stupid. The first painted face needn't worry. No man would want to do anything with you with a face like that. Young women today are so darn ugly and cannot compete with my other half, who is twice her age and beautiful. Okay, while it's cute that this guy thinks that his other half is so beautiful, the part about no one would want to do anything with me because of my face, my DMs can confirm that is a lie. So that was a small handful of the Facebook comments and I will link the documentary in the bio so you can see the rest of the comments and assure yourselves that I'm not making this up. There are over a thousand on there and this was just a few of them that Facebook wanted to show me as the most relevant, unfortunately. Now what's some of the YouTube ones? Attention seeking millennials, a drain on society. They need to take some ecstasy, that will get the juices running. Evolution-wise, they shouldn't procreate, which is a bonus. Again, asexuality is not infertility. Come on, guys. Someone just commented, bullshit. And to be honest, I could say that about most of these comments. I can't imagine not being attracted to someone. Clearly a broken link somewhere. I truly hope none of these people have sex or utilize in vitro fertilization. Population control agenda. I think this new identity crisis is some sort of mad psychiatrist revenge. Mad psychiatrist? Mad Psychiatrist Revenge sounds like an old horror movie, doesn't it? <laughs> if she meets the right man, her sexuality will be a thing of the past. One just commented liars. <laughs> okay, the spelling in this comment is so bad, I'm going to try and read it exactly as it said. So Demay and Gamorha, not surprised at all. Soon the fire is coming upon this earth. This is a sign of, the, of last days as it was in the days of Noah and Lot. Asexual people are literally a sign of Armageddon at this point, and I think that's pretty badass, don't you? Asexual people are a waste of space. They should be rounded up and shot because they're not contributing to humanity by reproducing. That's almost as extreme as that Hitler Stalin comment and that World War II comment. There are some weird people on the internet, and it's not me. Any asexual get their blood checked? Sounds like low testosterone. This could happen. This would happen to bodybuilders when they come off roids. They have no sexual desire for a period. Okay, Trump 2020, which is this guy's username, or girl's username. Um, asexuality is not a physical disorder. I don't know how many times people have to tell other people that, but it seems like no one's getting it. It's not a side effect of veganism. It's not a mental health problem. It's not a physical disorder. It's a lack of sexual attraction like every other sexuality. Get it into your heads, okay? Someone commented, incels incoming! Lol, no offense, but that black girl is ugly. I have no idea why she is a model and indirectly saying that she's good looking and could get dates but really isn't. Take off that ton of makeup. Ugly where? Good for her, stay clean. And no, 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 no. Being asexual does not mean that you are more pure than anybody else. I'm not here for that outdated a perspective on women having sex and then being worthless. I'm not here for that. That's not what we're doing today. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I hope that I didn't like depress anybody with this video. I wasn't trying to like upset people by showing all of this like negativity towards asexual people. I just wanted to show that this is real and we should not deal with this. Um, Personally, I don't really take offense to these things. I don't know these people. Their opinions are irrelevant. I just find it funny that they took time out of their day to get mad at me for just living my life and not disturbing anybody. I find that amusing because time is a very precious thing and they're spending their being mad at me and I'm taking that negativity and turning it into something positive. So, whatever. These kind of comments can be disheartening in the sense that it makes me wonder whether the message is getting through. Like, you've had all, you put all this effort into making a documentary and it seems like no one's really got the message. But 
it just shows that there really is a need to educate people about asexuality and the reception I get overall for the activism I'm doing has been really positive. It's been positive from people within the LGBT plus community. It's been positive from the media. It's just idiots on Facebook who have something to say and YouTube and sometimes my other social media platforms. But again, it isn't all doom and gloom. I'm not taking it personally. Um, their opinions don't change who I am and they definitely don't change how I feel about myself and they should not change how you feel about yourself or your sexuality either. I'm just going to keep working to try and educate people about asexuality and in the end the message has got to sink in and for the people who are too ignorant to understand, whatever, I won't let them be my problem. If you want to see more of me, um, you know, follow me on Instagram at the Yasmin Benoit, I post a lot of my stuff on there for modeling and my activism, that's like my main thing. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter because I recently joined Twitter at the Yasmin Benoit, which I mainly share activism related stuff. Um, again, like, share, like, share, subscribe on YouTube, whatever you want to do, um, and yeah, stay happy, stay weird. Thanks for watching, guys.